Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and if you're new here, I post videos all about luxury, beauty, lifestyle. So if you're into that kind of content, then definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a comparison between card holders and traditional wallets, specifically in the luxury realm. And I'm also gonna be going over a few questions you can ask yourself in deciding which piece is right for you. So if you've been wondering, card holder or wallet, then just keep on watching. All right, so I do have a few different pieces to show you guys, and I have my notes here on everything I wanna go over regarding the main differences between, say, a traditional wallet and a card holder. So first, let me discuss card holder pros and cons. So first and foremost, a card holder is typically a cheaper way to enter the luxury realm. Of course, Chanel is going to be not cheap, but even for Chanel, this was not a bad price. When I purchased this, it was $425 and it is completely leather. The Louis Vuitton key clays are around 200 or so. Um, I will, again, will, I'll list pricing and more impertinent information on the screen for you. So that is one thing. Compared with a traditional wallet, it is generally cheaper to get a card holder and you know a cheaper way to enter into the luxury house that you're looking at. Next, one of the cons is with card holders is that obviously you do have to fold bills if you want to fit them in. Now for the Chanel card holder or something of this similar size, all I need to do is fold the bill in half. Whereas with the Louis Vuitton key clay or something again similar, I cannot fit it in this way. I have to fold it twice, which I will say that is a pretty big con, especially for this, because when I'm in a store, you have to like dig it out, open everything up, try to find the money that you need. And this is a little bit easier because I can just fit the bill right here. It fits right down in the middle compartment and I can just quickly grab out and I only have to deal with one fold versus needing to deal with multiple folds. So, you know, that is one con I would say regarding the card holders, but you take that as you will because if you don't ever carry cash, then that's not a con for you because you don't carry cash. But you know, lately I have been carrying a little bit more cash on me just because I have found myself in instances where I'm at a restaurant and I didn't know that they would be valet only and then me and my boyfriend are like scrambling to find cash between the two of us. So I do like to carry around pretty much a minimum of $20 in cash and a few singles that way if I need to tip somebody or if there's a parking meter or something, I have some cash to pay. Anyway, <laughs> next, one of the pros of the card holders are that they can essentially fit in every single bag. I mean, I have even seen card holders fit into like the Gucci Super Minis, which is super small. And these can both fit in my Louis Vuitton Felici, no problem. I've seen people put card holders inside of the Chanel Walks. So these can essentially fit in any bag. You really don't have any limitations as far as the card holders go and where you can fit them. The other thing that is a pro about the card holders is that you can very easily fit your essentials. For instance, I can fit tons of cards in this, pretty much beyond my essentials. And in this, I can very easily fit my essentials plus some if I really wanted to. So for me personally, my true essentials are my ID, obviously, my driver's license, ID, whatever, and my credit card because I don't really use debit anywhere besides at the ATM. And then my third essential would be my debit card because I do sometimes need to go to the ATM, so I always wanna have that on me. Or again, if I'm ever in an instance where I just need some cash, I wanna have my ATM card on me so that I can do that. And this has exactly three, whoops. <laughs> This has exactly three card slots, not counting the middle, but you can, of course, double up if you need to, and you can put things in the middle. So again, it can very easily hold my personal essentials, and I believe it could hold the essentials for most people. You know, I mean, most people aren't going out and using five different credit cards all in one night, so it can very easily hold you know, your essentials. Then another pro that I would say about card holders is they are a very good way to dabble in with a fashion house. For instance, 
this was my first Chanel piece, my only Chanel piece at this point, but it really did give me an idea of like how the leather is and you know how the quality is and it really kind of opened my love for Chanel up. You know, Chanel was never really on my radar before and then I really fell in love with the card holder after seeing people have it online and then now I really just opened a can of worms with Chanel and I really would love several things from the fashion house, but it was a much easier pill to swallow, you know, metaphorically, to spend $425 on a Chanel item versus, let's say, $5,000 plus on a bag. So I feel like after using this, I can confidently say I would be happy with a bag as well based on my experience with this. And again, you know, even with Louis Vuitton, this is even cheaper. You know, I think a lot of people could just put a little bit of money away each paycheck or whenever they can and could end up buying one of these pretty easily. Now again, of course, over $200 is still a lot of money, but I think it's just more attainable versus even some of the bigger wallets from these brands are more expensive. So I think card holders are just a great way to try out a brand. For instance, even like the YSL card holders that are similar to this, I believe you can get for right around $200 and they're full leather. So again, I just think they're a great way to like dabble your toes in with a specific fashion house. Then one of the pros that is specifically with the clay and Louis Vuitton does have some other like card holder type options that have this, you know, little hook, I guess, what would you, it's not a D ring. It's some kind of like clasp, let's say. One pro about this is you can fit this right on your keys. So for me personally, like if I was recommending um, you know, let's say somebody came to me and was like, I have a 16 year old and they don't, you know, they need to carry some stuff around. They are driving now, you know, they need to carry their ID. What would you recommend? I think this would be a great piece for like a teenager or anybody who doesn't want to carry a bag all the time, not even just a teenager. But the point I was making with that is that if you just need a couple cards and your keys, this is excellent. I, when I first got this one, this was my first key clay. I just kept this on my keys and so often I would just grow up, run out the house with my keys in this because it had everything I absolutely needed. Of course, I still carry a handbag, but you know, not every time do I need to bring my bag with me somewhere. So I think this is a truly excellent option for somebody who really just wants to be on the go because it does have the little hook. So, and the reason I was saying, you know, like if somebody was asking me what I would recommend for like someone who's 16, I think this would be a great piece for somebody in that age range, especially because I know for me personally, when I was 16 and I started driving, I, I would have loved something like this, honestly, because then again, I would only need this and my keys. I didn't need to carry a bag around. Now, of course, I still did carry bags back at that point, but I just know that 16 year old me would have really loved something like this, so I feel like it would be a great intro piece for somebody. So next let's talk about the pros and cons of more traditional wallets. Now I did post a video comparing these two wallets specifically. I believe I'm putting that live before this one. and. They are very similar in what they can hold. These are both very traditional type of wallets, especially compared with like a card holder or the key clay, something like that. So first of all, you can much easier hold bills in a traditional wallet, obviously, since you know this has a flat compartment back here for bills and even the Victorine wallet, which is more compact, does have the ability to hold full size bills. So I think that is really great. If you are somebody that is a true cash user, you know, you always use cash, you really don't prefer to use card, then definitely go with a traditional wallet, not so much card holder, unless you don't mind the folding of your bills. But I will say, if you're somebody that carries around, you know, five or six, seven bills at a time, folding them up, it's gonna take quite a bit of room in your key clay, or even, you know, if you felt fold it up and put it in here. So I definitely think if you're a cash user, for sure, traditional wallet all day. One of the cons about wallets like this, especially this one mainly, is that you are more limited in the bag size that you can use. Now, in my comparison of these two videos, I actually did shockingly find that this fit 
in some bags that I wasn't expecting. So you'll have to go watch that if you are curious about how many bags this can fit in. But in general, you know, a long wallet or a traditional wallet, not so much the Victorine, but you know, a long wallet or a traditional wallet is going to be a little bit more limiting on what bags you can fit it in. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to fit this inside of a Felici or a Walk, which I know some people think that the Felicis or the Walks, they are technically wallets, so you wouldn't need a wallet, but I see in all the videos that I watch on luxury, most people do tend to use their Walks with other card holders, so obviously this is not fitting in a Walk. At least I don't think so. Then one of the pros about the traditional wallets is that you can hold way more than just your daily essentials. This one has six traditional card slots. This one has eight traditional card slots. But of course, you can either double up the card slots. There's other slip pockets that you can fit more cards in. So you can hold way beyond just your daily essentials compared to these two, mainly this one compared with this one. Now, I will say when I bought this, the SA that I was buying from, she had one and she had it like stuffed. Like the amount that it was stretched, it was like stressing me out because I would never dream of doing that to this piece. But hey, you can. If you wanna shove 10 cards in here somehow, go for it. You can because the SA, she did have it like that. I mean, I'm telling you, it was like a thick wallet almost. <laughs> So anyway, in general though, you're gonna be able to fit more than just your daily essentials in either of these wallets. If you're somebody that likes to carry around your rewards cards or maybe like specialty store credit cards, but you don't need them every day, but you like to have them, then I think a traditional wallet is definitely gonna be the way to go. Then one of the cons kind of with the traditional wallets is that they are often priced higher throughout the luxury fashion houses. For instance, you know, the Key Clay and other similar card holders from Louis Vuitton are in the $200 range, whereas this wallet and the Victorine are both 570, and like the Zippy wallet gets even more expensive from there. And of course, even with Chanel, their full size wallets do get to be more expensive. So if you are going to get a full size wallet, then just know that it is more of like an investment. It's not gonna be as entry level of a piece, in my opinion at least. Of course, that all depends on your budget. You know, If you have $3,000 that you can unlimited do whatever you want with, then a wallet's gonna be no problem. But for me, and I feel like you know, I'm just trying to give everybody a idea of what would be more feasible. So I think, again, you know, the wallets, they are going to be more expensive. They're gonna have those higher price tags. And to be honest with you, for a long time when I was into luxury and looking at Louis Vuitton wallets, I was like, how can anybody spend, you know, seven, $800 on a wallet? But really, I mean, now, like I said, the, this is 570. I, I get it because I, I love luxury. So of course I'm willing to spend the money on it, but, it can be a pretty hefty price just for something to hold money and cards, you know? So now that we've kind of gone over the pros and cons, I wanna go over a few questions to think about if you are like, which one do I get, you know? Which we kind of briefly touched on some of these things through my pro and con explanation. But first thing to ask yourself is, what do you carry? Do you need just your essentials or do you need to have all your extras with you too? So if you need to have a bunch of extras, then I would definitely stay away from something like this. You can get away with using one of these because like I mentioned, it can hold a ton of cards, no problem. But in general, if you're somebody that has, you know, let's say you're a business owner and you have various business credit cards, you have your personal credit cards, you know, you have your business debit cards, business personal debit cards, and you have just so many, I would definitely say go with the traditional wallet. Of course, this is all personal preference. I'm just giving you kind of my opinions and giving you some questions to think about if you're really trying to decide which, which direction to go. Next kind of question to ask yourself is what bags do you use? You know, are you a wallet on a chain user or are you a never full user, you know, or somewhere in between? Do you like smaller crossbodies? Do you like mini bags? You know, that is kind of something to really take into consideration because for instance, if you are a true mini bag user, then something like this is just not really gonna work for your lifestyle and for the bags you use. Whereas something like this would be perfect in a wallet on a chain or a mini bag. So it is very important to think what bags do you use because you obviously want your wallet to fit inside of your bags. 
And another thing to think about too is, are you a bag user at all? Or do you not really use a bag? Then I think something like the clay would be perfect because you can just hook this onto your keys. You don't even need a bag. Whereas something like this or a traditional wallet, typically you're not gonna wanna go out and like be holding onto these things somewhere, you know? Which I guess in the same instance, you'd be holding onto your keys if you had this on it. But I think you guys get what I mean. I mean that you would generally wanna have a bag to put these things in. So, you know, again, think about what kind of bags you use or do you use bags at all? You know, that is definitely something to consider. Then another thing to consider is what is your budget? Do you have just unlimited funds to spend or, you know, or do you have a very high budget or are you very entry level and you don't want to spend a lot or you don't have a lot to spend? You know, it is definitely something to think about because like I was mentioning, something like a key clay or a key holder is going to be a lot easier to attain if you have a lower budget compared to a bigger, more full size wallet from, you know, different fashion houses. Then the other thing to consider is, uh, mainly I'm talking the difference, not so much between card holder or wallet, but is the sense of security. So for instance, if you're choosing between these two, for instance, do you like having the zipper or do you like having the button? Does this make you feel more secure than this? Do you like the easeability of just using a button? So that is something to consider between those. And then if you were kind of between this kind of card holder or a zippered one, again, do you like having a zipper or do you like just being able to grab and go? It, again, you have to think about how do you use your items on an everyday basis because I can tell you that just right off the bat, I would say this and this are easier to use. They're quicker to use because you're not, you're not finic, um, finicking, finagling? I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but you're not messing around with a zipper, you know? No matter what, a zipper does take longer, you know, you're pulling things out, it just takes longer. Especially this, because it's like a, you know, you're having to like really open, pull it out, you know, it's definitely more time consuming in that regard. So that is something you need to consider too. For instance, I can remember years ago, before I was like, before I ever owned any Louis Vuitton, you know, when I was younger, teenager, I had more of like, I guess what we would call contemporary brands, such as Michael Kors, Coach, stuff like that. And I remember getting a zipped wallet and then I ended up getting a snap button wallet and I much preferred the snap button. I found that when I was using the zippered wallet back then, I never was putting my cards away. I would end up throwing them in my bag and I even lost a card one time like that because I must have either not put it in my bag and left it on the counter or something because I just was so annoyed with having to use a zipper. At this point, I'm not like that. I, I really do like having the zippered option as well. Obviously, I have both, so if at some point I want to just switch it up and go with the snap, I can, but it is something to consider because you may not think about these things when you're in a store and you have that like intense emotional attachment to an item, but sit back and really think about how do you prefer to use your items? You know, think about pieces that you already have. Do you use a zippered wallet? Do you use a snap wallet? It's definitely things that you should think about. And that is really the main questions that I would advise for you to ask yourself on whether to go for a card holder or a regular wallet. Now, as you see here, I do own multiple wallet type things. I have wallets, card holders, you know, multiple means of carrying around money and things. And I have a love for all of them in different reasons, you know. I really do love my Chanel card holder because it is just so easy to use. You know, when I'm at a store, I can pull it out of my bag, pull my card out and just use it. In fact, I'm actually planning to switch over from this to this for a little bit. I just got this about a month ago, but I do kind of want to switch and use my card holder for a little bit. You know, it's hard because I want to use like all my items at once, but I can't, so I just have to rotate them. But anyway, one good thing about having multiple items too, and my essay did tell me this, he told me that the one thing he recommends his clients to buy multiples of, if anything, is wallets because they take the most beating. So since I have, you know, two different wallets, different key clays, card holders, I won't put so much wear onto the items as quickly. For instance, when I first got this piece, this was the only 
luxury card holder wallet anything that I had it was the first one so when I first got this you know I used this to death because it was the only thing I had it's still in very good condition but I can definitely notice some wear on the zipper pull you know the like tarnishing of the hardware but now that I have multiples I can very easily switch between and I don't see as much wear on the pieces now because I have you know like I said I'm rotating them but anyway, I really hope that this video was helpful if you were kind of wondering what are the main differences between card holders and wallets and if you were trying to decide on your what you want to buy, then I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any other questions or want to know anything else, definitely leave me a comment. I love being able to help people find the right item for them. So if you have any questions or just want my opinion on something, definitely leave me a comment and I will definitely get back to you. <laughs> How many times can I say definitely? But anyway, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel so you can see any of my future luxury videos. If you're into fashion, beauty, luxury, I think this is definitely the channel for you and I would be really happy to have you in my little growing family here. So anyway, that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.